Hello everybody, Evidence here. In this short video from one of Nadia's hangouts, Sugar Tiberius Rhodes tries to explain to G-Man where God went wrong in Genesis regarding the fairy tale about the tree of good and evil. Any normal person, or a parent for that matter, would have intervened and stopped Eve from eating that apple. God didn't care one bite, I'm sorry, bit. He just let it happen. And all mankind have to suffer for it, for all eternity. G-Man, of course, didn't like that correct interpretation of the Bible. Like all true YouTube Christian apologetics, he jumps in to save God from his own perfect words. You see, Adam and Eve knew there would be consequences disobeying God. But how could that be? How can they know right from wrong before eating the fruit? Listen to this schmuck demonstrating with demonstrable and empirical evidence <laughs> from the Bible, no less, that Adam and Eve knew exactly what was going to happen. Watch his ignorant, condescending smile as he reads from the book, thinking he has made a great point, poning his opponent. Let me show you what you've done wrong. You know, let, let me part the clouds and let me show you on the dailies, you know, what you did wrong. Um, he doesn't do that. He says, cut, it's a wrap. This is the shit that's going to go down forever. Uh, I don't know what book you're talking about, but I like to get back to the Bible because that's not what happened. That, that is what happens, though, isn't it? That's not what happened. I can read to you what happened. That's not what happened. Okay, God created Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve was adults when he created them. They wasn't babies. And he flat out told them, if the day that you eat from this tree, you're gonna die. Okay? Okay? But how and would they know? How would they have any kind of They didn't have to know exactly what that meant. They knew that there was gonna be consequences if they disobeyed him. But they didn't know what the word consequences meant. Yes, they did. And we're and by the way, can you prove that they didn't know what consequences meant? Can you prove I that they did? How do you know what a consequence is? How do you know what a consequence is without a wait, 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 wait. I can prove with demonstrable and empirical evidence that they knew what the consequences was going to be. Empiric you can give me a empirical can, evidence. No, 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 no. For this situation, I can give you demonstrable and empirical evidence yeah. proving to you that they knew exactly what was going to happen. But I'm willing to bet that 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 you can't prove your side. Oh, oh, I know I can't prove my side, and I would never okay. promise you that so I can prove it. You're making an accusation based on ignorance right now, then. Uh, well, that's how you frame it. That's how you frame it, but that's no, not how I see it. I'm going to read to you where they know the consequences with demonstrable and empirical evidence. Bring it, bring it. You're, you're, using, you're using the Bible as wait a minute, wait a minute, demonstrable wait a minute. empirical wait, evidence? What I mean by that. Let, let me explain what I mean by that. You guys got your ways of explaining things. It's my way. Okay. She just made a claim about something that happened in the Bible. She has no proof for her claim. I do, and my proof is so you good. You would first have, have to prove that the clean. Bible is an inanimate word of God first. Wait wait a minute. Let me read what I'm going to read, unless you're scared, because I won't read it if you're scared. I'm not scared at all. Okay, so let me read it then here. I'm scared. Where, where I'm scared. Not Adam and Eve knew what they did was wrong. And Sugar, you being a parent, I know you're going to pick up on this real fast, okay? Okay, all right, bring it. In Genesis here. chapter 3, we're going to look at verse... Uh, here. Um... Hold on. Wait, by the way, Sugar, G-Man doesn't believe that God knew that Eve would eat that fruit because he said that, according to his okay, perspective... I'm going to read uh, Genesis chapter 3. Come on, what is Sweet, sweetheart, I've been Sweet watching. Yeah, you're, you're correct, Em. He did say six that. Six months. Six months. Six months. Not only knew the possibility, he didn't know if it was definitely going to happen. I'm going to read my verse. Let, let's just go one at a time, okay? This Because this is, this is a good conversation. Let's make sure we're all heard. G-Man... No, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, only yeah, between yeah, two yeah, people. Yeah, I don't got it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. only between two people. Sorry, sorry, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I would yeah. moderate these conversations. That'd be great uh, if anybody wants to volunteer. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to start on verse 6, okay? And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them were both open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden of the cool of the day. And by the way, if, if you didn't do anything wrong, the last thing that you should be able to do is run. Okay? 
and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Sugar! Let me ask you something, Sugar. Uh, you got kids, right? I got nieces and nephews, yeah. a whole lot of them. Let's just yep. say hypothetically speaking, you say children, you can touch whatever you want in my house. However, see this little ornament right here? You can't touch it. Yeah. You touch this ornament. Yep. Okay, I don't know how you feel about spanking, so I'm gonna say this: you're gonna I be punished. You're gonna be punished if you touch this. You're gonna be punished, and I'm not. Okay. And this means a lot to me. <laughs> G-man, you buffoon! Given the story is correct, of course they hid after eating the fruit. When they understood right from wrong, when they understood consequences. Sugar and all the others listening made the claim they didn't know consequences before eating the fruit. 